My first uh, question is in regard to uh, uh, asking you to explain what maybe you meant about unions when you gave an interview in 2008. You said, quote unquote, that you represent a lot of employers and that you, quote unquote, don't think unions are a good thing. You also said, quote, maybe the process that unions utilize to unionize certain companies are not the best thing, best ways to do things so that that's the thing that employers are worried about, end of quote. A simple explanation of what you meant when you said that you don't think unions are a good thing. Uh, thank you, uh, Ranking Member Grassley, for that question. Um, it, what you're referring to is an, uh, an interview I gave in 2008, uh, shortly after I began uh, practicing law, where I was asked about uh, different uh, proposed um, laws that were going to go into effect. I believe one was the Employee Free Choice Act and another was the Respect Act. And I believe uh, neither of those have passed, but I was giving uh, opinions regarding uh, those partic two potential uh, laws. Um, when asked about, the question I was asked was whether uh, people think unions are still a good thing. Uh, my firm at the time represented a lot of employers and did not represent uh, lab labor unions. So a lot of times employers don't believe that, that unions are a good thing. And that's sort of the, the perspective I was uh, attempting to give, although probably inarticul uh, inarticulately. Um, but, but I went on to say uh, that I did believe that, that unions uh, can be a good thing. Um, so th that's sort of the explanation. I was on the one hand giving sort of the perspective of a firm that represents a lot of uh, employers and, and later giving my, my position. Uh, have you ever argued an appeal in federal court? Uh, thank you, uh, Ranking Member Grassley, for that question. Uh, over my career, I've argued uh, 10 appeals, and, and those appeals have been to the Tennessee Court of Appeals and the T Tennessee Court of Criminal Appeals. I've also briefed uh, 23 um, appeals, appeals in 23 cases. Um, I've also uh, litigated to uh, final judgment five appeals to the Sixth Circuit, and I have one currently pending uh, before the Sixth Circuit, but I have not uh, argued before the Sixth Circuit. Okay. To your knowledge, have you had to refile documents in cases that you worked on before the Sixth Circuit Court because they did not comply with local rules or other court requirements? Uh, thank you, Ranking Member uh, Grassley, for that question. I do believe that I have uh, refiled uh, briefs and in, in, uh, uh, cases that I've had before the Sixth Circuit uh, without any prejudice to the positions of my clients in those cases. Okay. Um, before a person's license is suspended for failing to appear, the Tennessee Department of Public Safety is required to send the person a notice. Uh, here they would have sent letters before April 2010 and July 2016. In a letter you provided to this committee, you said that you do not recall receiving a notice that your license had been suspended before January 2011. Uh, do you have any reason to think that you did not receive the notices that the safety department would have been required to send you before suspending a license for example did you recently move and forgive forget to update the address on your driver's license uh thank you senator for that question um i recall receiving a notice that my license was suspended due to non-payment of a citation out of mississippi um th that's the notice that i recall uh receiving and, and upon receiving that notice i immediately took action to get my license reinstated Okay, thank you. I yield back. Senator Bloom.